The framework is to help families and self-advocates learn and identify what they need to know, because sometimes families don't know what they need to know, helps them identify the supports that they may need or how to develop those supports, and also helps them identify uh, the life that they want. What's really neat about the Life Course Tools is that the, the depth of what's there, in addition to like the three main tools that we use, it's just so comprehensive. It could be utilized across system. It can be used for myself in my own life, or it could be used to, you know, in, in somebody in who may be in mental health system. It, they, they seem to be universal across the board. So uh, th that was something that really appealed to me, and I thought we, this, this is something that would be nice if we could kind of catch sort of a fever of this and, and then kind of and then spread it out, I think, throughout our county. And for us, it ta tailed in really well with what we were already doing with person-centered planning and putting an investment and making sure that our plan language matched that. And these were just tools that they could use to kind of amplify and help that process and, and, and work through that. So I think the, the wake-up call for us is when the first individual brought it to their SSA and said, I, I'd like these things. And the SSA said, whoa, well, what's this <laughs> this document? And we said, well, we, we probably need to show, <laughs> show, show them how that works. Our SSA started to get really uh, educated on what was going on and then we incorporated those in as part of our 90-day packets so when before an ISP meeting comes up 90 days an SSA will get a packet of everything that they need to do uh, from our admin staff and then they'll work through that the tools are in that packet so uh, they'll, they'll implement them there. It helps everyone switch from a disability service narrative about what life is like to what is uh, a good life for myself or the person I love. It really, SSAs say that the tools, and usually it's the three main tools, but there are many other tools that people can use. It helps them frame conversation. For families and self-advocates, we have often been on the side of the table where paper was handed to us, and we've had to agree with the paper, yes, I'll sign it. This. Um, SSAs should really be giving this, these resources to families to think about. They can use it to have conversations with families and self-advocates. It's paper courage. We give people the paper. They can think about it at home. Um, I tell parents, take them home, think about it, have a glass of wine, <laughs> and sit and talk about what kind of life do you want for the person that you love. So it helps shift the narrative from disability to human. I was I was really kind of figuring out how these things fit my son's life and and how that worked out. And first place I sat down was I talked to my wife and said, "Boy, you know, what do you think we you know we we should start with him on on some of the stuff?" And and really the first tool that we pulled out was that uh, trajectory map. You know, what looks like a good life for Josh and. Um, and what are we doing? And the nice part about it, that, that diagram too, is it also has an, a box that said what doesn't look like a, a nice uh, life for Josh. And w when we started, to, it's interesting, it's easier to fill out the bottom uh, one first because mm -hmm. you're like, we don't want him to be alone. We want him to have friends. We, uh, we don't want him to have any kind of uh, life of isolation. We want him to be involved in his community. We want him, want him to enjoy life. He loves to travel. And so when you start kind of putting the things that you, and my son's not very verbal, so we had to kind of do it based off of our knowledge with him and experimentation. He actually sat down with uh, Krista, uh, our, uh, with our advocacy group, and uh, she got the uh, trajectory map out, and we, we, and she started to map things out on one course and another, and, and in the box that says, what do you not like, he wrote pepper. <laughs> we thought, <laughs> pepper, you know, I've been putting pepper on his food, you know, from all this time, but he, he clearly wrote it down there, so we've uh, kind of removed that from, from his diet. But I mean, what a small, you think it's a small, insignificant thing, but I've been doing it three times a day, his, his, his food for, for his whole life. I sat through an ISP meeting with our SSA uh, about it two months ago and Josh periodically would come in and out of the ISP meeting but he, he's not really an active participant and um, but we're all sitting around a table and, and all these people who really are vested in uh, parts of his life and see the day and the evening and and uh, you know sort of the parent the parent involvement and you know kind of figuring out what Josh does like it was steering the conversation and our SSA had pulled out the trajectory map and was literally writing down uh, pieces of uh, information that would help her write a better plan or even take information that we were in the ISP meeting in order to, to make that better. And the, the trajectory helps families come to the meeting or conversations with their staff with 
instead of just answering questions with the ability to say this is the life we want or don't want how can you help us and we had one individual kind of come up and talk about that and really really say here's how best to support me and it was things like uh, sometimes when I look at you or if you talk to me I don't necessarily understand and it would, it would help me if you could kind of explain it a little bit better or if we could work through that communication to try to make me more successful in my uh, my understanding so I can do a good job for you and uh, there, there was just multiple things that she had on this uh, one page profile and it's so descriptive of, of, the, of the person. I, I don't know if I, I could read that as a supervisor and go, I think I can really work with this person and mm -hmm. figure out you know, what, what they really need from me. And that's the beauty, because not everybody that interacts with the people we love is gonna read the ISP. And this is in one page. Here's a quick snapshot of who I am as a person and what you can do to help me. For SSAs and for families, the integrated star, which we haven't right. talked about, helps um, it, it, it it says okay you want this you want this is your good life to to have a job or have a girlfriend or have your live in your own place and it looks at five areas of supports and we tend to focus on eligibility specific but it makes you look at what what is the person's attributes or skills what relationships can help them? Who do they know? Uh, what technology can help? What's out there in the community for any citizen who wants this? And SSAs have told me it has helped them think about, oh gosh, I don't have to come up with everything. Right. There's other resources that we can pull in. And it also helps families think about who do I know that can help us? Writing stuff about yourself, how to best support yourself, is kind of easy easy for all of us to do. We kind of sit down and make that happen. Figuring out where we're going to go, what we do like mm -hmm. and what we don't like. But trying to solve specific problems by putting that in that middle of that star and then looking at every one of those domains and to say, do I really need uh, SSA, uh, ISP-driven services to mm -hmm. solve all of my life's problems? And mm -hmm. the answer to that is no, you don't. You don't. But we've been in the system kind of guilty of uh, trying to solve all that with uh, with uh, eligibility specific services and I, I think the there's you know certainly encouragement from SSAs to really look outside of that box and we have been I think mm -hmm. uh, in more in, in more recent years of uh, trying to see how can we use that community technology is really changing quite a bit and you know that is just something that we just have to be continually get ourselves more familiar with I, I did the training once with um, some self-advocates and one gentleman came with his sister and his sister came thinking she said you know I've moved out of state I moved back because our parents have passed or one of them passed and so I came back to help take care of my brother and after at the end of the session when I had them writing on their own she told me her brother was telling her what he thought a good life would be for her so <laughs> she thought she was going to be learning about her brother, but he also had some pictures of what she should be doing in her life. So it was kind of funny that they were helping develop each other's vision together. The FRN Ohio website, which is the Family Resource Network of Ohio, which is the website that's part of uh, the NYSONGER website. All of the tools are there. The information is there. And there's resources there and they can request um, training or information on that website.